In this video, I'll show you how you can convert your boring looking game into this awesome super cool looking game by adding motion blur to it. So I have made this simple scene with this cube as the player or you can think of it as a car running on the road. So in this cube, I have attached this box collider in a simple movement script which will just move the player along the z-axis or in forward direction using this rigid body here which I have set the rotation constraints to. And in this cube, I have attached the main camera as a child so it follows the cube wherever it goes. And also I have added these cubes as the buildings on the right and left side of the player. Cool, so yeah, that's all I have done here. So the first thing we need is the post-processing package. So let's go to Windows, Package Manager, and it will take a while to load, and select all here. And in here, you need to find the post-processing. It will be here somewhere, so click on this, and you will need to install this package. I have already installed this in my project here, but if you haven't already installed it, click on the post-processing, and here we will have the install button. So go ahead and click on install and it will install the package right here and it might show you some errors here and if there's a case go to assets and hit re-import all and once you do that hopefully all the errors will go away and now let's right click to create this post-processing profile all right so i'll name it ppp short for post-processing profile okay now let's go to the cube here and create an empty game object and I'll name this effect because I want my effect to sit on another game object. So let's go to add component and add post processing volume here. So this one. And here we need to assign the post processing profile that we just created. So drag and drop this inside here. And now we are ready to add some effects. But before that, let's go to add component and add a box collider to this. Set this is trigger and increase the size of this collider just enough so that it covers the area where we want to apply the motion blur effect and in my case 30 in x and 50 in both the y and z axis will do just fine all right so as you can see here it fits nicely and we can also set this blend distance here which will just set the intense intensity based on the distance of the object from the player so a value of 5 seems just fine but you can also play around with this now let's add the actual effect so let's create add effect unity and select the motion blur here here we can change these values if we want but i think the default values will work just fine so yeah let's first disable them disable these both and yeah let's try to play the game without the effect so let's see how it looks so let's disable this motion blur here so disable this and now let's just go and hit play here as you can see the game doesn't look so cool and doesn't have that fast paced feeling let's exit the play mode now let's go to the cube and select the main camera and inside of the main camera we will add the post processing layer so post process layer here and it will add some of these command buffers here so firstly we need to set the layer here i've already made a layer for this called pp so i'll select this pp layer but if you don't have any go to layers and edit layer and then assign that layer here also let's change the anti-aliasing to fast approximate here and if you're working on the mobile devices i recommend you enable this fast mode as it will boost the performance of your devices and lower the quality of the effect okay so now let's go to our effect game object and select and assign this pp layer to this so now we can just enable this motion blur and let's go ahead play now all right as you can see it already looks cool but yeah the game's lagging because i'm in recording mode but i bet it'll look cool on your devices so for now let's exit play mode and let's play around with these values now the simple count basically is the quality of the effects, the higher the value, the higher the quality will be, but it will be harder on the PC. I'll set this to 15 for now. So let's go and hit play now. And we can also change this during the play mode. As you can see, lowering the shutter angle just reduces the motion blur entirely. You can also play around with these settings, but let's just set the shutter angle to 270, the default value it had. 
and now we will have we will try to play around with this sample count here so let's just hit play now and we will try to change this value during the play mode as you can see the quality increases as we increase the sample count but it highly affects the game performance so yeah i think that's pretty much it for the motion blur and there are many other effects that you can try and if you want me to make videos on these so just let me know in the comment section and i'll get to it so yeah that's it for this video if you like this please consider subscribing my channel and if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section i'll get them and until next time see ya